I've got a background in science and business. I was originally a biochemist and uh, did an MBA in diagnostics and pharmaceuticals. Um, I spent probably the first uh, 10 years of my career with Roche in, uh, in diagnostics and the last six or seven years in pharmaceuticals. Where I'm currently placed is within our Translational Research Sciences Organisation, which is an organisation which supports discovery research and early development of pharmaceuticals. And we provide technologies such as uh, genetics, genomics, histopathology, uh, proteomics to support uh, modelling and simulation, um, bioinformatics to support drug uh, discovery and development. I think that up until perhaps five to eight years ago, there were very few companies who had a focus on developing clinical utility for novel markers. That uh, most of the development work of, in terms of developing clinical utility was done by um, clinician practitioners um, or by the community in general, and little work was done by companies. Um, and this is changing and diagnostic companies are realising that um, in order to be seen as being a major player in healthcare, they have to do more work to demonstrate the clinical utility of the assays that they're bringing to market. I think that clearly the ruling was made at a relatively low level within the judicial system and that there is plenty of space, time and opportunity for that decision to be revisited and rethought. I, I don't think anybody has the point of view that uh, one should be able to patent life, um, but one should clearly, I think, be able to patent, patent uh, uh, intellectual property which is, um, which is novel and uh, uh, um, not obvious and drives innovation. In certain areas we are interested in looking at data at quite an early stage and this is mostly in uh, a, a few focus areas which we think are very high unmet uh, uh, healthcare needs which, um, which have a strategic fit for us. So uh, oncology would be an example. We're interested in many pathway biomarkers which have the potential of being clinically useful. But in most cases we will want to see some evidence of, of clinical utility and really a, um, a relatively robust assay for measuring the biomarker. Rather than thinking about outsourcing, we're very open to working with, um, with anybody who's doing effective uh, discovery work and uh, producing good evidence of, of clinical utility. I think we're really only going to see evolutionary changes. If we look at the work that's been done in terms of whole genome association studies and the influence of genetics on major disease, we can see that um, many of the diseases that we're looking at are quite complex genetically, so there doesn't seem to be any short route to, uh, um, to finding genetic risk factors which are going to be um, extremely important in um, in, in managing some of the major complex diseases. The work that we see being done in the genomics and proteomics arena is also, uh, I think, much more complex than anybody anticipated. And um, I think we're only beginning to understand the role of, uh, uh, of epigenetics and microRNAs and, uh, and other relatively new discoveries.